when you're on the outside reading about the Oxford MBA program. I could tell that they wanted people like me, which meant they wanted Africans, um, and also they wanted women. And this was one school that was very deliberate. So it's not, I tell people, it's not a lie. It's not just in the brochures, it's true. The diversity is real. I'm walking down the halls, I'm seeing women. And so it just felt like the perfect environment for me. We actually have, I think, 44% women in our cohort, one of the highest in any business school across the world. We're very proud of that. Very interestingly, I've actually observed that more women participate than the men in the class, which makes for very interesting and diverse conversations. I think the gender balance actually helps remove the imposter syndrome. It's like, we are able, we are capable, and you can learn so much from all the women here. It's been really exciting to be in a community where I feel that my voice is heard, that I feel valued, and everyone is looking to learn from each other. Honestly, I might have learned more from my peers this year so far than the classes, which has been a lot. Everyone has a voice, and I think that's, that's what the world needs, right? So I'm glad that in this world of mine at the moment, I'm seeing that happen. The Women's Leadership Alliance is a voice, if you like, for the female students on the MBA, engaging in debate with their fellow students and with their lecturers and with our wider community about what it means to be a female leader in a world like this. It really looks to create safe spaces, looks to create workshops, events, initiatives, and really looks to provide a platform for all of those who do designate as a woman on the MBA to really reach their potential, both on the MBA and in the future. We have very honest, open conversations about challenges that we faced in the workplace and outside. So I would say that the community that we've managed to create through OWLA is like the biggest to win for us. I come in to help with the male allyship side and to really bring the men into the conversation as well. A lot of the students here are going to come out and be leaders in their industry, in their societies. And for me, it's important that we start to equip our men with the toolkit that really will help prevent these unconscious biases and to really promote gender equality throughout the workplace. All my working life, I have experienced more male leaders than women leaders. Women make up half the world, and we want this place to be the kind of place where every woman and man can flourish and really find their leadership style. Just be yourself in the application, you know, like, like let your unique selves shine through. You don't really have to pretend to be somebody else to fit into this MBA. When you think of applying to a program like this, a lot of us second guess ourselves. A lot of us, you know, think, nah, I'm gonna apply to other schools because I don't think, I think this is for a certain breed of people. Um, but it is for you. Put your best foot forward and then trust the process. Um, and then if it's your time, it's your time.